New York police are responding to a reported blast at the central bus station in Manhattan. They say the cause of the blast is as yet unclear. There's no information yet regarding any casualties or injuries. There was also a report of a stampede following what some had described as an explosion. Well, the blast is said to have happened at Manhattan's Port Authority bus terminal situated between 42nd Avenue and 8th Street. Police on their Twitter feed are warning people to stay away from the area. Well, eyewitnesses say there are a lot of police at the scene and there are also reports that some subway lines are being evacuated. Well, for more details on this and joining us live for the details on the phone is RT's correspondent, Caleb Morpin. Caleb, can you hear me? Hello, Caleb, can we hear... We, we don't seem to be able to get through to our correspondent there. We'll return to Caleb as soon as we have contact. In the meantime, we do have some live pictures coming through here. Let's, let's return to some of the details from that breaking news story. Well, the explosion is said to have... Uh, now we have the live feed coming through so we can see those pictures. New York Police Department are responding to a reported blast at the Central Bus Station in Manhattan. They say the cause of the blast there is as yet unclear and there's no information yet regarding any casualties or injuries. There was also a report of a stampede following what some described as an explosion. Well, the blast is said to have happened at Manhattan's Port Authority bus terminal situated between 42nd and 8th. Well, police on their Twitter feed are warning people to stay away from the area. Eyewitnesses say there are a lot of police at the scene and there are also reports that some of the subway lines are being evacuated. And I think at this point we can now return to Caleb Morpin, our reporter, who's at the scene. Caleb, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Hi, Caleb. What um, more do we know? Um, so at this point, we're hearing reports uh, that the explosion took place in the Port Authority building. That's where the buses that are coming into Manhattan uh, generally deposit people. Um, these are buses coming in from New Jersey. These are Greyhound buses from around the country. Um, and uh, that, that's where the explosion took place. And as of now, we're not getting any reports of any injuries. Uh, however, we're, we are hearing that, uh, that in response to the explosion, uh, there was a stampede, uh, people were evacuated, and the NYPD, uh, according to some sources, the NYPD has one person in custody at this time. Um, now, um, we also understand that there are trains you know, that deposit in the area. I mean, the Port Authority building was also a subway stop. The A train, the C train, and the E train uh, here in Manhattan, and all of those train lines are now being evacuated, and the subway station below the Port Authority building is being evacuated in response to this blast. Um, so we, we still it's still unclear what made this blast, what caused the explosion. Um, you know, but at, at, at the NYPD is on the scene. When we understand, SWAT teams uh, are on the scene immediately, uh, clearing the area, clearing the Port Authority building, trying to get to the conclusion of what's happening. Um, so a lot of questions are in the works, uh, but as of now, uh, we're not seeing reports of injuries, which seems to be a good sign. But, uh, but you know, as, as news travels fast and we, we get to the bottom of what happened, it's not clear as of yet. Now, that's quite a big building. It's important to point out uh, that, you know, there are the trains that deposit there. There are the many different buses coming in. And this is a very, very busy time for that building. Uh, at this point, you know, it's just, uh, it's just, it's just almost 8.30 here in uh, New York City. And you can bet that people are just piling into downtown uh, in their daily commute. You know, on a given day at this time, uh, you can bet that subway cars that are going on in on their way into Manhattan are just packed full of people. You know, standing standing room only. People, you know, people just piled in there with barely enough space. So, if there were to be an explosion um, in in this area, it, the potential for injury is quite massive, as the area uh, tends to be quite packed with commuters um, on on mornings like this. Now. The Port Authority building, that's where buses that are coming into the city tend to deposit. Um, that's also, you know, at the site of a train station. This is just one block away from Times Square. Um, and this is 42nd Street. This is Midtown Manhattan. Uh, this is quite a busy area. Now, there's a very large security and police presence in that area at all times. Uh, we've seen that there have been previous incidences there. Um, you know, most recently there was uh, there was the incident where there was the individual who was driving through Times Square and trying to injure people with his car, and there were fatalities. 
Um, and that area is very, very heavily monitored and policed. Uh, a huge amount of surveillance, a huge police presence. And as we understand now, the New York City Police Department is on the scene clearing the area and trying to clear um, any, any, any people from the area, um, just trying to evacuate the scene for safety purposes. Um, as we know, in an incident like this, you never know if, if this is over or not. You know, For all we know, there could be more explosions in the works, so you can be sure that they're trying to evacuate the scene to get everyone out of there uh, before, uh, before uh, they, they determine, so they're able to determine uh, what's happening next, if the building is safe, if, if the thing is safe, and if things can return to normal. Um, you know, questions are still being raised as to what this explosion was. Where did it take place? This is quite a big building. What floor was this explosion on? Uh, was this explosion in the subway area? Was it, was it you know, in an area where the buses were coming in? Uh, was it on the, you know, on the street level of the building? Was it higher up on, on the higher levels where, you know, some of the, some of the buses from New Jersey deposit? Uh, a lot of questions are being asked. It's all not very clear. But as we know, the NYPD is on the scene and people are being rapidly cleared from the area. Um, that's the reports we're getting. The subways are being evacuated. An area that would usually be just a hub of activity, just a, a sea of human, human beings is now being cleared and evacuated um, as we try to get to the bottom of what's happening. Now, the reports seem to indicate uh, that one person is in custody at the moment, um, but it's not clear if that's in relation to, you know, the, the explosion or if this is a person who perhaps was getting in the way of uh, evacuation efforts. Um, a lot of things are just not clear as we're hearing reports of the Port Authority building being cleared by the New York City Police Department. Indeed. Well, Kayla, we'll, we'll leave it there. I mean, we have heard that RT has contacted the police for comment, but they've neither confirmed nor denied the blast and did not admit that anybody was in custody, so we are awaiting details on that. They also clarified that it was yet unclear whether this incident is being treated as a terror attack or not, but we do have reports coming through that the bomb squad has been, has been sent to the area. We'll have more details on this later and probably hear from Caleb again too. Thank you very much indeed, Caleb.